Oh, wow. 1772, which, okay, it'll do it, but it looks like they're gonna charge for the 1772 in this brand new parking structure in Wildwood, Florida. There's two chargers there, or two handles and two handles there. When are they gonna be opened? It's exciting, the parking structure is now open, the chargers are not open, and uh, normally through city projects like this, the 1772s are usually free. They're usually charge point or something. Blink has a bad habit of charging an outrageous price for 1772. Outrageous, like 60 cents a kilowatt hour or something crazy for slow charging. But at least it is going to be an option. At the moment, we don't know how much they're going to be, but I'm, I'm going to guess because Blink is operating these, it's not going to be cheap. I need cheap or inexpensively free, let's just say, which I'm going to go do now. Yeah, as long as the chargers are free, I'm fine with that, obviously. But if they need to charge, if they're gonna charge for slow charging, I don't mind paying like 12 cents a kilowatt hour or whatever the normal fee is. 60 cents a little bit too crazy even for fast charging but like say this charger here decided to go from pay or from free to paid one of these days and who knows it may as long as it's maintained i don't mind paying like 12 cents you know 15 cents i'm, I'm good with it i could sit here for a, an hour i don't mind sitting for an hour and getting some juice and paying that much as long as the machine is maintained but for some reason those ones that are going in over there, I, I just have a bad feeling that they're going to say, you know what? People will pay anything to charge their car. Anything. This is less than a mile away. This is this is this is my jam right here. When I'm in the mood to slow charge. Well, I just realized what is perfect. What 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 is slow charging perfect for? It is for eating. I mean, probably not Taco Bell. Oh, stay there. Yeah, we need tables in Nissan Leaves. There needs to be a table. That's a lot of food for $7. This was the very first Nissan Leaf I ever had. It is now my son's, and he charges at home. He gets like about 60-something miles still on it. Way different from my Nissan Leaf I have now that gets 233 and never is able to charge at home because... I live in an RV. Okay, a couple days ago, I was here at this same Love's truck stop and there was some EA chargers that they just put in and they were not up and operating yet. Yeah, they did pull out the Chatamo and I didn't think they were gonna have like green highlights like the older EAs did, but it just so happens they do. Check these new chargers out when they're all lit up. To have a look at that. So it's not just the arch of the machine. It is this highlighted, really pretty green. These are really nice. I, I, I'm, before we move back up to Wildwood, when I get back from Miami tomorrow morning, I think I'm gonna bring my car over here and give these a shot. And what's weird is, before these were put in, the chargers that used to be here, you had to sit in line and stage. That whole row of cars over there would just be staged to use these chargers, but for about a month, a month and a half now on PlugShare, they've been showing on, you know, that they've been down. So nobody even knows they're working yet. So it's empty. Every slot is empty. Anybody can come here and charge. I should probably not post this because it'll fill up fast. And towards the future of transportation, of, uh, of tr truck driving, basically. Can't wait for the day where trucks like mine right there We'll be pulling on to pumps like this and charging. It's gonna be so much nicer than having to pump diesel. Have to put on gloves. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the electric truck day. It's gonna be here sooner rather than later, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong.
It is noisy over here. I am on the back lot of Disney delivering to a warehouse and if anybody wants to know, want to work at Disney, they are having the job fair going on. Or you can just go to DisneyWorld.jobs. Grab it, grab grab yourself a job. Be a part of a be a magic maker. Kind of feeling what people that uh, are refusing to go to uh, electric and want to stick with their gas. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm kind of getting what uh, the people that don't want to give up their gas cars. I I mean I not that I don't want to I don't want to go back to gas. I promise, but um, when not the government so much, but it's the operators of the chargers like ChargePoint, Electrify America, EVgo. When they force stuff on you, I, I get that. I get why the gas people think they're trying to force electri electrification on us. It's like, um, so when you have a chat, a car that uses the original standard that came out, you know, 10, 15 years ago with Chatamo, and then all of a sudden these providers stop taking, they take that away from us and are trying to force us into a new, you know, something like CCS or, or Tesla. And it's like, uh, we have no choice but to change cars. I don't wanna change cars. I like my Nissan Leaf. I don't mind the Chatamo. I don't know why they're taking it away from us. And they're, it's like they're forcing us to upgrade our cars. I don't wanna upgrade my car. I like my car. Hence the adapter. I mean, we need adapters in life for everything, pretty much. You know, you want to connect something to your computer. You may have a different brand of computer. And you need an adapter to connect to a cord that goes into your computer to still be able to use your computer because you love your computer. Or, you know, things change, obviously. But it feels like they are forcing the change by taking away. You go to the gas station, there's a diesel hose. There's a premium hose and there's a basic hose. They're not removing the hoses from the gas pumps. Why remove them from the chargers? You know, not all cars are diesel. Not all cars are gas. They're usually both on the same pump. Why are they taking away and just going to one thing when there's, you know, three different charging standards out there? Well, three different connectors. And then fourth, if you count the 1772s, which seem to be going in in a lot of places. It's not like I'll never be able to charge my car. It's just in the future, if I didn't have this adapter, I would be stuck, at least in my area, slow charging. I don't want to slow charge all the time. I like the fast, you know, 73 kilowatts speeds. I don't want the six kilowatts or the three kilowatts, the, the ones that take you like six hours to charge up but it seems like they're forcing us into that unless we want to go trade in our cars and continue with payments on a new car uh, yeah i i don't want to do that I'm, I'm i'm getting this one down to where it's manageable and every month i could see the price going down how much i owe i don't want to just trade it in and start payments all over again on another car so i kind of feel what gas people are feeling you know like I'm I'm getting forced into it. If by 2030 I have to have an electric car. I I get that. Just in a different way. Because if for you gas people out there, even if you have an older car like mine, you know, that, that runs on the old standard, they're kind of forcing us to upgrade to the newer ones too. And I so I feel your pain. But um uh, I'm just happy there are adapters out there. Otherwise, I, I don't know what I do. There's no way I could do gig work and everything else using slow charging. You just can't do it. So six pence EV, thanks for creating our A crane. Uh, it's all the same, it's the same company. Thanks for uh, making this adapter A to Z. I don't have your product, but thank you for making what you do. Uh, it's just, 
it's a lifesaver. It's needed. It, it you're one thousand. I think these things are going for one thousand dollars. One thousand dollars is worth it compared to spending another, you know, ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars on another vehicle. I'd rather just spend the one thousand dollars. It, it, it's it's a lifesaver. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I am getting on down the road. I'm going to charge here and go and make a couple bucks and door dashing or something. If you guys uh, have been watching my videos for any amount of time, I am getting, re getting ready to do an EV road trip in the Nissan Leaf just to see if this adapter will work across the United States. If it will work at all the chargers outside the state of Florida. I want to do a 6,000 mile, 11 day road trip. 3,000 miles out to California, 3,000 miles back all in 11 days using basically this charger because let's face it chatamo is disappearing we need these things we need these adapters so if you want to uh help support that i do have a paypal link i will put in the description below also i started to go fund me you're more than welcome to click that if you would like to help show support for this trip it's basically for charging along the way and possible a couple nights here and there cheap cheap Quentin Tarantino style cheap hotels as I go out and back. And uh, that's basically what I'm I'm trying to get funding for. And if you would like one of these adapters, there will be a link in for that also down below. Click it. If you're a Nissan Leaf driver or anybody else that has a Chatamo car and are not ready to get rid of it, this adapter is a lifesaver. Until the next time, peace out, everybody.